that part and the choreo uh, it goes it goes crazy in the teaser i need to see the video just release it i know you released the video today but just release it again Hello, welcome, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Today is the day, Stray Kids' first full album, Go Live, is out, and we're gonna do a little listening party. I'm gonna break this up into maybe two or three parts. Um, we'll check out five songs today, and um, yeah, I'm just so, so excited. I, I need to hear it now. I've already reacted to God's Menu, their title track, uh, and their MV. Loved it, it pretty much embodied what Stray Kids is to me in both their sound and visuals. They went hard, they set a new bar, I feel like, and I'm just thrilled and so happy for them. Um, so without further ado, let's just head into the album. Let's start um, with Go, the first opening track, and just work our way through. I'll check out God's Menu again. I'll maybe leave a timestamp for you to skip that if you don't want to see it because you've already seen my reaction. But I haven't really paid too much attention to the lyrics and I forgot to turn them on on the um, MV reaction but there was too much to take in anyway, so I'm sure I couldn't pay much attention to them. So this time at least, I'll be more into it, and I've already listened to the song, you know, 15 times probably, and I'll be more hyped to hear it. So let's just get started in, uh, man, and see what they've accomplished here. Okay, so the opening track is actually called Go Live, Not Go. So this is the title track per se, because the album's called Go Live, but it's not the single. I feel like K-pop, the people get some terminology different from how I'm used to it. A title track is the title of the track on the album that's named after the title of the album. And the single on the album is the one they have an MV for and they promote and they push. So that's God's menu. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry, that's me being an ass. Let's just get into it. I'm excited. So we've heard uh, teasers of a lot of these songs, this one included. Ooh, interesting. This is probably the fastest I've ever heard Hyunjin rap. Changbin also a different tone, not as hard and heavy. This is probably my favorite part from the teaser. The the change in the beat and the and the beat in the backgrounds. Lino's and Bang Chan's voices play together really well. And I was shocked. Shocked at how low I ends going here. Sungmin as well. Whoa, this should have been Lino's line. I know, you know, we know. I, that's awesome that they included that. And my dude Han, always going off. Felix breaks up the pace so, so well. Man, they're going to have a lot of references to all their old songs, don't they? So far, they already had the, you know, the memes, uh, I know, you know, we know, you know. And now they're pretty much referencing my pace here. Whoa, whoa, why does that sound so familiar to me? Hold up. Bong Chan, first of all, rapping. Love it. But this also, the tone of his voice here. I love how kind of matter of fact and lackadaisical his tone is. Very careless. I like that. There we go. Now he says it. Damn, this is such a good opener. The drums. Instrumental on the track is really good. And that reminded me of uh, of Double Knot. That was really, really good. I like that a lot. That's the end of it, right? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to react. All of these that I'm playing for is from the same exact channel. Um, Zadi Farani. Um, so if there's a mistake... You can go to his channel there and yell at him and not me. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be a mistake in any uh, lyrics, but thank you so much for making these videos. Um, really like that song. That was the perfect opener for the album. Really upbeat, sets the tone. And then we head straight into God's Menu, which I've heard before. Um, I'll put up 
somewhere around here where you can skip to if you don't want to hear me react to it again. But uh, let's just go. Let's go. This song is so good. I love how Bang uh, Changbin starts here. It starts at 10. So good. Sharp. I'm a Han bias, if anyone doesn't know. I absolutely love Han. I love his vocals. He's the triple threat of K-pop. Dancer, vocalist, rapper, produces. He's a quad threat. He does it all. He does it all. But him and Changbin work off each other so well. Changbin typically with not slow rapping. He definitely doesn't rap slowly. He can rap to the ability of Han in speed. But usually heavier and harder, so uh, in that sense, it is typically slower. And then Han is a great um, foil for that in a way, in that he has such an upbeat pace to his rap. The transition in the video here, when he cuts from here, is, is so perfect. And I was not expecting this out of this song. Bong Chan's vocals are amazing, amazing rise. And it kind of says everything about them and the song that they've wanted to. Um, I mean, you saw it in the prequel video. You saw it all the way at their debut with District 9. They want to be different, that they want to stand out, that they want to go at their own pace. They want to kind of not be a follower, but an individual. And so far from what I've seen from this album damn are they no one can copy them they have their own unique sound their own unique sound style and i feel like that's really really hard to do in the music uh industry in general uh let alone k-pop where people follow trends a lot did sungmin look like that in the video hottest menus that'll never cool off What does Tang mean? Is that soup? I'm assuming that's soup. This part, this is outside of Changbin's part in, in this song. This part with Bang Chan after the first chorus is my favorite part. The beat switch up and the way he holds on the notes are just so good. It makes you want to like get low and he does in the video. Oh, it's so good. It flows so well. I cannot wait to see a performance video on this. And Han's kind of whispered vocals there. Mm. That's going to be an iconic line. Five star Michelin. All the locks unlock. Idea bank. Empty your head. Empty it. So all the, I, all the locks unlock... Uh, seems like um, not only based on what he's saying um, just up front, it seems to me as if it's some kind of callback to them with the key, unlocking their potential, unlocking their true selves. Um, when I saw them on tour in January, it was their unlock tour. It was them revealing themselves to us. That seems to be kind of what this verse is um, is pointing to. Hyunjin's rapping has gotten so much better since debut. So much better. Same with Sungmin and his vocals. I know he always gets hard on himself. Um, uh, he was with Young Wings. He he always uh, says that he wasn't happy with his performance on that track, um, even it being one of his favorite tracks. Uh, one of the reasons is why it... it is a look into him not being at his best or what he thinks is his best. I mean, I thought he killed it, but um, always striving for something better. And I, I admire that. And him as well. Gotten so much better since debut. They all have. And then this switch up here. And we go right to where the, the teaser led us into. So good. The song is so good. Oh, 
Oh. I knew this song wouldn't disappoint me. Then we go right back to that intro. This is the best part of the song, hands down. They're dancing here in the video, insane. As Chungman's just losing his mind. <sighs> Fuck, it's so good, it's so good. God damn it, I love that song, really, really good. All right, let's just hop into Easy, man. This one um, in the the trailer previews and the teasers appeared to be my favorite. I just loved the beat. I loved how eerily kind of dark it was and just kind of how much swag they had. It was a different type of rapping style and vocal style for them. It was very muted, very subdued, whisper-like with these very like quick, subtle movements in their choreo. Really excited for this. Easy. Also, Lino seemed to kill it on the song from what I saw in the teasers. Oh, the beat is so hard. Listen to the bass in the background. North, south, east, west, anywhere. Okay. That reminds me of that, of Hyunjin's verse in Double Knot. And in, I mean, obviously their whole... Um, Part of their theme being Stray Kids, Lost Kids, um, uh, and the compass light stick they have, which I need to get. I need to get. I need to put somewhere on a shelf. I need to do that. Um, it also reminds me of um, their NS uh, song. Um, let's just continue. More about going their own way. Yes, yes. More Felix raps. Ooh, Ian even sounds, not only does he look like he's grown up a little, he sounds like he has as well. This, the flow on this song. Yes, this part, Lino's part. This is his song. Dude, the cadence, the tonality of this flow is so good. The chaos towards me, go away, the terribly lonely and time just go away and sell gold? Is that the right lyric? Maybe it doesn't translate. Oh, yes. One thing that Trey Kids really does a lot, which is why they're going to be, I mean, as successful as they are, they're going to be so much more successful that as producers of the beats um, for Three Racha, Bang Chan, Changbin, and Han, they're not selfish. They don't hog lines. I think Stray Kids have one of the fairest um, line distributions in K-pop as far as the groups I know, which is pretty limited, admittedly, but they're very fair. Not only that, but as they produce the beats, um, that's one of the really great benefits of self-producing is that when they're producing the beats, they know each other so well and the members so well, rather than some big exec or producer that's a bit more detached, um, that they're writing these beats perfectly to suit the voices of the members. Um, so here, I, Felix's part, I feel like they wrote this and they knew just right when they were um, not only writing it, but producing um, the beat that this would work so well with Felix's voice. Because the way his slow, deep voice works with that backtrack um, instrumental. Especially because they can all rap, it's way deeper than just say, hey, let's give this rap verse to the rapper because there's so many of them. This song is so good. This was supposed to be their title track, wasn't it? And they switch it to God's Menu. This is as good as the title track, man. It doesn't have the bombast, but it's got the style. I love Lino's parts. We didn't get enough of him in God's Menu. Mm. 
the brave ugly duckling turns the table. Oh, dude, that part oh, and the choreo, uh, it goes, it goes crazy in the teaser. I need to see the video. Just release it. I know you released the video today, but just release it again. After the electronic part here, this silence, the choreo is so good. I'm not a dancer. Don't laugh at me. I don't know what I'm doing, but they'd know what they're doing. And he's throwing his arms like this. This song has so much freaking style. I love their confidence. I feel like a lot of K-pop artists are afraid to talk about their confidence in their songs like a lot of American artists almost only talk about and always do. I know BTS flexes a lot, as they should, being who they are, but it's admirable that Shrey Kids is also flexing in a lot of these lyrics. They're very confident um, in, you know, displaying who they are and their personality. All right, we're just going to hop right into Pacemaker. Now, this one I don't know anything about because we haven't seen a teaser. Um, nothing. So I'm assuming because it's called Pacemaker, it's either going to be one of two things. It's going to be about the heart, maybe be a slower song, maybe a love song, which they never do, um, or Pacemaker because it's going to be really fast and really upbeat. I have no idea. Let's just go. Their beats are so good. We needed one. We needed one. We finally got one on the album. A straight kid's ah. We needed at least one. Okay, so this is so this is maybe along the lines of what I was saying. This does seem either like a love song or one of those open-ended vague love songs to where it could be a love song or it could be about the fans or it could be about whatever the listener wants to um, pivot that meaning into, you know, to suit their own their own needs. Um, but yeah, love the beat on it. And there's a lot of uh, references to them running and pace again. So definitely a Stray Kids track. We're going to have another running song. I think my favorite part of this song so far is just the beat in general. <laughs> more, uh, more things that remind me of my pace. Yeah. See, and those lyrics remind me of um um I am you. Saw myself in you. Yeah, this almost feels like this almost feels like a more upbeat, slightly harder version of IMU. Baby, I'm the one. Yeah, this is gonna be a great running track. They're always wearing vitamins. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, this definitely sounds like a song for for the fans. Yeah, 
Oh, oh. Oh, Sungmin, kill it. Vocals on this track are great. Sungmin and Ayan both really shining for me. And a lot of uh, Bang Chan's ad libs. That was good. Is that it? That was really good. I like that. Very a bit more simply, more um, what's the word? I guess traditionally constructed song. Um, really liked it though. Gonna be a great running track. Um, definitely seemed like uh, adjacent to IMU, just a different style of song, but similar meaning behind it. Um, last one we're gonna check out is Airplane. Another one I know nothing about. No teasers. Have no idea what it's gonna sound like. Let's go. We already got a funky guitar. Mmm, this is already feeling like a summer bop. We need just more singing Lino. Ooh. This song is bright. I couldn't even tie my shoelace. See, we got double knot references. Mmm. Ooh. Got a little piano in there. And then that synth slide. Oh, yeah. This is like a feel good summer song. This is what you play in the car with the windows down. A lot of references to following them, running along with them. Ooh, shine, Sungman. In the spotlight. New York. Ooh. I love the, the fade into the synth. Ooh. In that part with the piano. Ooh, they held it just, just long enough. The clapping in the background. So far, who I'm noticing the most on this track, kind of running away with it, is definitely Sungmin. Lino's parts are great. Han. Love his vocals. Is that a singing Hyunjin? This seems like more like gang vocals. Girl, I will show you Neverland. I'm your Peter Pan. <laughs> What is that lyric? I love that. Especially Sungmin, who seems like so unassuming. I love that. So this is this is more along the lines of a traditional love song. Which they don't do a lot, and I give them a lot of credit for that, but you need one every now and then. And I'm I'm not hating on it. This is just a great feel-good track that really breaks up the pace of the album. Most of their stuff kind of being hard and aggressive. Only two of us go tripping. Wait, wait, wait. Leave far away on the airplane, only two of us go tripping. Yeah, this this one is definitely more fl uh, flexing their vocals. Damn, another really good one. That one, I feel like it's just a great change of pace for the album as a whole because most of it seems to be, well, that's kind of straight kids thing is 
aggressive hard rap um really aggressive beats um so these songs these lighter songs i think break it up really well i mean some of my favorite tracks on them are not the aggressive songs even though those are the ones i typically gravitate towards all their mix mixtape songs uh mixtape one two three four are all so good and i never skip them when they come on my shuffle um but wow that was really good so those were the first five songs off of their album go live we definitely have a lot more to get to a lot that i've already heard before i know on track i know top um and i uh Gandhi's, i also know um so we might listen to those you guys have never seen my opinions on those so maybe it'll be fun i don't know let me know if it's even worth doing um let me know if you guys even want to see another part <laughs> in general if you want to hear the rest uh of my opinions on the songs um but so far great start to the album out of the ones we heard i'd say my favorites have to be have to be easy and uh god's menu i'm not sure which one out of those two are gonna be my favorite from what people are saying i've been reading that phobia seems to be another um voices which is probably my favorite stray kid song maybe probably top two or three absolutely love voices best beach be uh b-side that they have um uh so they said it was kind of like another voices elevator so i'm really excited to listen to phobia um, let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. If you want me to continue this listen, listening party, um, recommend any other groups that you want me to react to down below. Thank you so much for liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my uh, channel. Um, it's a big help because I'm a new channel and it's just really hard to get started and to get noticed. Um, I know I don't have the best setup here. I don't have the best lighting. I do have the I do have a decent microphone, so at least I have that going for me. All of that will improve and I'm just trying my best and hopefully it's something that you guys enjoy and it takes your mind off away what's going on in the world and quarantine and all that. Um, I can't wait to get my hair cut. It's just a couple of days. I look like a woolly mammoth. Um, but yeah, um, wish you guys good health and um, just thank you so much for checking out my stuff and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>